What's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you something really awesome. This is Game Room Solutions new Nen Bar Top. As you can see, it's a vertical style bar top. And they were actually kind enough to send over a kit for me to put together and take a look at. I really enjoy this thing. So I understand that the vertical bar tops aren't for everybody. And I got a Mrs. Pac-Man one. Biggest reason I chose the Mrs. Pac-Man one was because I actually really love the game. Plus, my wife told me that I could put this downstairs as long as it looked pretty. The Nin Bar Top comes as a kit. You will have to add your monitor and your Raspberry Pi or PC, whatever you like in there. They do have a few options to choose from as graphics goes. I will leave a link to their website in the description if you want to take a look at these. They can get a bit pricey if you add a ton of stuff to them, but out of the box without graphics and controls, it's $219. They also offer a Guts Mega Pack that comes with everything you need to get this up and running except for your monitor. Now this is a 19 inch monitor in here. You can use a 16x9 or a 4x3. Now I'm using an LG 19 inch 16x9 monitor that I actually picked up from my local Goodwill for 5 bucks. Now I still got some tweaking I need to do on this, but I figured it was finished enough to go ahead and make a video on. They did a great job with these vinyls. They look amazing. Now the front here is on plexiglass. The top marquee has a little slip inside of it. On the very front here, we also get a little spot for two USB 2.0s. And underneath, we have five extra buttons. You can set these up to navigate menus, extra action buttons. I use these for navigating inside of the Raspberry Pi, running RetroPie, and that's exactly what I got going on here. So the reason I want to change this monitor out, we have this big logo and that LED right there. That's the power button. I could cover it up if I want to, but I think I found a monitor that's going to work a lot better. One of the main things I need to do is kind of clean up the wires inside of here, but I'm running a 180 watt amp to a single speaker. Got a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus running RetroPi. I'm actually running a base image of Motion Blue with Dwayne Hurst's vertical theme. Now, as for the light up here, I did swap this out for a little LED I found at Home Depot. It's got two settings on it. And as you can see, we got kind of a mess down here. The whole unit is put together with these cam locks. It is so easy to put together. He has a full video. I'll leave a link in the description. Shouldn't take you long at all to get one of these up and running. So this is actually my third bar top from Game Room Solutions. Uh, a few years ago, I got on eBay and I bought a kit. I didn't realize it was from the same guy who runs Game Room Solutions. He didn't have the website set up then. Eventually, I got one of his better bar tops, which is one of my favorite things I own. At first with this one, I was running a Raspberry Pi inside of here, but then I switched it out to a mini PC and I'm now running LaunchBox with a ton of awesome games. So I want to go ahead and show you this vertical bar top running here. Um, as you can see on the front, we have one action button, start and select, or one player and two player. You could set these up as three buttons and use the under buttons for your start and select. But for me, I really just wanted some vertical one button arcade games to run on here. Now, if you search hard enough, you can find vertical main games, vertical FBA games. I got a ton of stuff on here and I still need to weed through it and delete a lot of stuff that uses more than one button. I could just leave the games on here, remap the buttons if I wanted to, or I could use a USB controller, but I kind of want this set up downstairs for easy access. Anybody could get on here, start a game, and start to play without having to worry about plugging controllers in or remapping buttons. There are tons of single button arcade games out there. So this is a custom image that I built. It's actually based on Motion Blue 6. I have Dwayne Hurst vertical theme. You can get that from the ES themes menu. And everything seems to function really well. There are some other tweaks that I want to do down the road, but for now we're going to get into some gameplay. Since the bar top is Mrs. Pac-Man theme, I figured that's the first game we're going to go with. Now I'm using MAME 2003 here. We'll just get right into it. For this game here, all we need is a insert coin button, a player one, and a joystick. I am off to the side and it's hard for me to see the left hand side of the screen. Um, you really need to be sitting straight on with something like this. The monitor is recessed and tilted a little bit inside of the cabinet. And I think it looks really good. Now, one thing I thought about doing was actually adding a black bezel inside around the monitor to block out that LED light you see in the top right hand corner and the LG symbol on the monitor. 
But I plan on getting a different monitor anyway, and if I still need to do that, I always can. I just have to take one side of the unit off. It's all cam lock, so if you need to get back inside of here, it's really easy to do. I'm gonna make it. All right. Sweet, so to exit a game, just like any other Raspberry Pi setup, press start and select. It'll bring us back into the emulation station menu. I'm trying to find an easy way to weed out all the games that require more than one button or get some kind of script to put all of the games that only require one button in a folder for me. I can do that on PC and then transfer them over. But to go through here individually is going to take forever. Just show you another game running. This is Gorp. We're still using MAME 2003. For most of these vertical games, the Raspberry Pi is going to work perfectly. I did think about throwing a little mini PC in here, but I don't think there's a need to because all of these games that are vertical and require one button are very low end. I mean, you can emulate them on low end hardware very easily. And I'm dead again. Screw this game. We'll go with something else. So I have tested games that require two buttons, and it's kind of easy to do. I mean, we got those five buttons underneath. Now this game requires a shoot button and a bomb button. You could just use one of the five buttons underneath and press it real quick. It will distract you in some scenarios. Or you could remap the one player or the two player button as another action button and use one of the five underneath as your start, select, or insert coin, whatever you want to call it. But this whole unit was designed around the single button vertical style games and it does a great job for those. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. This is a solid vertical cab. I really do like the design of it. The vinyl looks great and I got two kids. If I didn't trust it, I really wouldn't put it down in the living room and let my kids play with it all the time. If you do end up getting one of these, you can put it together in less than two hours. That's with your monitor, your Raspberry Pi, all the buttons and everything like that. He does have full instructions on his YouTube channel. I'll leave a link for that in the description. The most time consuming part of something like this would be setting up the Raspberry Pi to get it exactly how you want it. I suggest checking out Motion Blue version 6. You can find it, just Google it. It's all over the place. It contains no ROMs whatsoever. It's just got a lot of extra scripts built in. And for the theme, just get on the ES Themes menu inside of RetroPie and download Dwayne Hurst's vertical theme. It's there and ready to download. If you're interested in picking a bar top up like this or a non-vertical bar top, I'm going to leave links to Game Room Solutions in the description. And if you don't already have a Raspberry Pi and accessories, I'll also leave Amazon links down there too. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.